This enthusiastic smile reflects the way many pilots feel about the Fairchild F-27. And this is the F-27, the first American-built twin-engine prop jet in the history of aviation. Beneath it is Fairchild Aircraft in Hagerstown, Maryland, one million and a half square feet of manufacturing space, the home of the F-27. spring 1958. The first F-27 stood at the head of the Fairchild assembly line. Behind it, other turboprops rapidly approached final assembly. Many airlines and corporations were scheduled to receive this new aircraft. Nearly a hundred purchase orders were in Fairchild records by April. To the question why the interest in this new aircraft, the answer is simply the F-27 is designed to bring for the first time the many advantages of jet age air travel to the hundreds of smaller airlines throughout the Americas. On April 9, 1958, the first F-27 was complete, ready for flight test. First came ground tests, among them fuel checks, and checking of controls, this achieved primarily by taxi tests. Then, April 12th, 1958, the Fairchild F-27 taxied out for takeoff for flight number one. Airborne for the first time. The aircraft designed to replace the hundreds of aging twin engine transports still hauling passengers and cargo on US airways took to the air. As Time magazine reported recently of the F-27, compared to the old twin-engine transports, the F-27 will carry almost twice the load, 40 passengers, at half again the speed, better than 280 miles per hour, twice the distance, 1,700 miles, and accomplish the job in pressurized air-conditioned comfort." Unquote. The first flight was smooth, easy, uneventful. It might have been the aircraft's 100th trip instead of its first. From takeoff, flight, to landing, there were no difficulties. From test pilot and from crew, the word was unanimous. The F-27 flies well, handles easily, it is here to stay. But there were double checks, triple checks to be made, and then made again. More taxi tests and checking of controls and of course, more flight testing. Landing gear performance was closely checked on takeoff and upon landing. And of course, there was the important question of single engine performance. How would the aircraft fly with one turboprop feathered? It flew very well. What two of passenger comforts? These also were investigated by means of full scale interior mock-ups constructed by the manufacturer. Future passengers will find themselves in a modern cabin interior with pressurization and air conditioning systems designed to provide constant comfortable temperatures in flight and on the ground. One item needed no testing, for in both commercial and executive versions of the F-27, passengers were sure to enjoy the unobstructed view 
afforded by the aircraft's high wing configuration. As flight testing of the first F-27 continued, the second turboprop emerged from the Fairchild hangar only a coat of paint away from flight. The date, Friday, April 18th. Two F-27s were complete. Aircraft three, four, and five were also nearing completion. F-27 production was underway. Fairchild personnel have not been alone in their investigation of the F-27's performance and capabilities. On April 19th, aviation authority and enthusiast Arthur Godfrey flew from his Leesburg, Virginia home to Hagerstown to personally inspect America's newest aircraft. Greeted by Fairchild officials Richard Boutel and W.L. Landers, Godfrey then proceeded to look over the F-27. Then, with Fairchild's chief test pilot, Dick Henson, by his side, he flew the aircraft. When, an hour later, the aircraft taxied to a stop, Arthur Godfrey emerged as an enthusiastic F-27 pilot, one who commended the plane's flight characteristics, and one who predicted a bright future for the new turboprop as a feeder line transport and as an executive transport for industrial fleet operators. Shortly afterwards, Fairchild's distinguished guest returned to his Virginia home. This has been a brief report of the first few weeks' flight activities of Fairchild Aircraft Division's F-27 turboprop, an aircraft designed to bring the jet age to Main Street, USA.